Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this really cute hairstyle I like to call the third wheel. Just kidding, please don't leave the house looking like this. My hair is prepped in this way because I'm going to show you guys a new wig. Now this video is actually going to be about my very first curly hair wig. Now let me just say, ever since I posted that one wig review, I've been hit up by so many wig companies. Like, I didn't even know there were that many wig companies out there and there's no way I'm gonna be able to work with all of them. So I gotta be real selective and just pick the companies that I really think are worth your money and actually have good quality hair. Now the wig I'm about to show you is from China Hair Mall and the reason that I'm going to show you a wig from them is because they had my favorite curly hair selection. A lot of websites will show you this picture of like this amazing curly hair or like a celebrity with curly hair and then you keep scrolling and you see the picture and the wig looks nothing like the actual model's hair. I mean, it is possible for that hair to be styled into a way to eventually look like that, but I really wanted to just pick a wig where I could take it out the box and the curls are already pretty and good to go. And that is why I chose this particular wig from China Hair Mall. So let me show you. Here is my curly wig. Of course, I got a really long one and I love how defined the curls were. I was trying to find something really similar to my curls, but my curls are really, really tight. So I haven't got like a really tight one yet, but I just loved how pretty these curls looked. And they're already like shiny and defined. And I was like, yes, this is actually how it looked on the website and it also arrived looking the same way. So I'm really happy to see that this actually looks like the picture. So this hair originally came in this box right here. It says China Hair Mall. And on the inside, I was really surprised to see that it came with one, a wig cap, which is what I needed for my first video. So that is awesome. They include a wig cap. They included some free lashes, two pairs of lashes and they gave me some curly rods. I was like, what? I actually asked them, like, do you give this to everybody or did you just send this to me? But they said this will come in all of their wig packages. So that is really cool, especially for a curly wig. If you need some more definition, you could just curl them up and you'll be good to go. So besides the rods, the wig cap, and the lashes, you also get this little booklet. And inside the book, it says how to apply a wig, how to apply extensions, and how to wash your hair. So these are all just really great tips, and I was very pleased with the whole packaging setup they have going on. Now this wig in particular, it says lace front wig. It is SKU number LFW035. I'll put this all in the description box. And this is Peruvian virgin hair, 18 inches long and natural color. I wanted to keep it natural so that I could blend it with my actual hair color and I'm excited to put it on. So here's a close up of the lace front. On the inside, it has clips right here on the side and it has one kind of like in the middle here. It doesn't have any on the back, which I probably might want, but that might be my fault because I think it asked you how many clips you want and I just didn't do it. But this one also has an adjustable strap in here. So if you're not sure about your head size and you want things to be a little bit tighter, you can adjust it with this little strap right here. So I'm going to, one, cut off the tag because that's tacky, and I'm gonna cut off this lace and be right back. So now I cut off all the lace, so now it looks like this. Cut it off on the top and the bottom. Now this hair, I got the lace color in medium brown, so it's kind of like my skin color, and the hair density is 150%. I do really like the density of this hair because obviously you guys know I like my volume. I like really big curly hair. So it is nice and thick. So I'm just going to pin these braids up in the back of my head. Oh, let me explain why I have this third little ponytail going on. So I don't know how I want to wear this wig. I don't know if I want a middle part or a side part. So I decided to just do both. So here's my middle part and here's my side part. So once I put it on, I have options. If you actually know how to do cornrows, then that would be even better. I have not yet mastered cornrows. I know, don't take away my black card. I'm gonna learn one day. But for now, I'm gonna have to fake the funk. And this is my little twisted blob. All right, now I'm going to put it on. I'm gonna flip it upside down and put my head in. 
hide all the braids, tuck it in, and then you're gonna look and feel for the clips and pin it down to your actual hair. One clip, two clip, and I don't know where the third one is, so. Oh well, hello, <laughs> wow, this is voluminous. Now see this, this awkward line, that's what we don't want, so let's, let's bring it back a little bit so it doesn't look as weird. Bring out some baby hairs maybe, okay. That's better, I have a large forehead. That's nice. Um, cool, look at that length. Now I think I would probably wear my hair this way. Oh yes, darling. Do I want a middle part? If I want a middle part, I have to make one like there. And if I want a side part, where's my side part? So I'm gonna try to line it up with this. That's a really big poof, but it's kind of fabulous at the same time. Oh, cute right now. Okay, so now that I have it on, I've kind of learned that this isn't really made to have like a straight up part, like how it is right now. It's kind of just like loose and free. So I probably shouldn't have made a part right here. So now I gotta cover that up. And you don't even really see the side part. So it kind of makes things easier when you don't have to worry about a part, but you do still see the small line right here. So I'm going to get some black eyeshadow and I'm just going to kind of go along here and blend that in until you can't see the actual lace line. Then you can get a dark brown eyeshadow or black, whatever works, whatever you have. And then you're just gonna go along the lace and try to hide it. And you might also want to get those baby hairs. So I'm gonna get some edge control and we're gonna slick these down. And then kind of fill these in. Okay, so now that I filled it in, you can't see that like straight up line anymore. And I think it looks pretty good. This is me doing nothing but taking it out the bag, cutting off the lace and slapping it on. I haven't done any styling. I haven't recurled anything. I haven't added any product. This is just out the bag, which I think is great. Now, the only thing that bugged me when I received this curly wig was it has a slight smell to it. It's not like a bad smell, but it smells like burnt hair. Like when you go to a hair salon and it just smells like some girl's getting her hair pressed, it kind of smells like that. And for those of you naughty girls that straighten your hair all the time, you might not even notice it. You'll be like, what smell? So that was my only concern. It's not like horrible. Actually, now that I have it on, I don't, don't really even smell unless I literally go like this. But I did ask around to some of my other wig wearing friends and they said it's actually normal to receive your wig and it smells kind of like a processed smell when you first get it. But they said after you wash it one time, the smell goes away. So I'm very excited to wash this hair, see how that goes, see how the curls last, see how I could restyle it. So that will be another video to come. Now because I am a curl maniac, I do want to get this slight bit of frizz at the top. So now that you see how it looks, let me give you full view, 18 inches, 150 density. That's how it looks in the back. I want to kind of play with it now. I want to maybe add a little bit of styling something. I don't know. Let's see if I could do my little finger twirl. Let's see if it actually holds. I do usually do this with a brush, but we'll see. For video purposes, one, two, and three. Kind of let it go. Hmm. Nice. I'm just gonna it's gonna fix up some of these curls. So I do really like how it's reacting to water, just like my actual curls, and I haven't even put any product. Now when I watch other wig videos, a lot of girls don't like to add styling creams. They just do like a leave-in conditioner. Let me know what you guys like to put in your hair. Do you use shampoo and conditioner? Do you just co-wash? Do you just do a deep conditioning treatment? Do you just use oil? Like, let me know what you use. And I would like to experiment. 
And just like real curls, there's always that one curl that wants to get in the way. So here is a close up of the curls. They look really nice, really natural. I mean, this is human hair, so it should. <gasps> I didn't even put on a wig cap. Fail. Well, that shows you when you have a curly wig, your hair doesn't even have to be that flat. But I think it does make my hair feel a little bit more secure. My braids would be a little bit tighter and up here. So I will wear it next time, so make sure you wear a wig cap, but uh, I forgot. Now overall, I'm very happy with my experience with this curly wig. I'm glad it actually showed up looking like the pictures. I love the curl results and I love how thick it is. The 150 density is great for me. I do believe my cap size is size medium, but I will put all the information about this wig exactly in the description box. And if you wanna buy your own, I do have a promo code for you guys. You can get 10% off using Bianca10. If you like this video and or want some more wig reviews and tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Bye. Ta-ta now.